Welcome everyone to episode four of Office Hours with yours truly in partnership with Aloft. This is the third edition, the third year that we're going um, uh, live with you on uh, fintech and financial services uh, items that are worthy of your attention. And today we're going to talk about payments, most not notably about fast or faster payments. We all know in the EU and in Europe in general about uh, faster payments. We have SEPA, we have direct debit, we have a faster uh, payment steam, scheme in the, uh, in the UK. We have various schemes on top of SEPA in the uh, Nordics and in the, in, the, in the Baltics. Basically in Europe, you have faster payments. In other geographies in the, in the world also, in Southeast Asia and in, in Japan and so on and so forth even in, uh, uh, in China with their own faster payment schemes. One of the main geographies that uh, is basically behind uh, the EU and, and Europe in terms of faster payments has been uh, the US. The US has a hodgepodge of, uh, of payment schemes. Well, maybe there is a light at the tunnel for our friends in the United States of America because uh, the Fed has come up with FedNow which is a real-time payments RTP uh, uh, framework uh, for much faster payments than you usually have, different than um, Fedwire uh, and, and different the, than the other schemes, ACH uh, and the likes that, that, that they have. I view this as a net net positive and I view, the, I view this as extremely important uh, for the uh, US and for FinTech in general, but only fin, not only FinTech in the US, but also FinTech in, that, uh, in Europe because of cross-pollination, obviously. The faster the payments, the more secure the payments, uh, the less fraud uh, there is, the better the economy uh, performs and uh, is, uh, is healthy. Why is that? Well, we live in uh, a digital world with economies that are more and more uh, digital and you need to have certainty of fast payments coming to you, whether you're a business sending money to a business or whether you're a consumer sending uh, money to a business or whether you're a consumer sending money to a, a consumer. Any configuration is important for being fast and uh, secure and, uh, and safe uh, with a, a high level of, uh, uh, of certainty. We've had in the, uh, in the EU SEPA for quite a while. Adoption uh, is usually slow for new uh, payments uh, systems and frameworks, but adoption is most definitely growing. Point in case, in the Nordics, and specifically in Denmark, now, as of today, right, only 12% of transactions are made with cash. Only 12%. Everything else, whether it's consumer or whether it's business or whether it's enterprise or whether it's um, the government, is done digitally, right? Either with SEPA or Nordic's own payment frameworks that are fast and, uh, and efficient. That's the future when it's done well and managed well without any type of financial uh, inclusion, uh, exclusion, at, uh, of course. And I do believe that FedNow is gonna empower the US to move into the 21st century uh, of payments. And that was definitely noteworthy to, uh, to discuss. Uh, let's hope that adoption in the US is gonna go uh, from strength uh, to strength. Another uh, little piece uh, uh, of nugget here. Um, wallet payments in the US are starting to grow and grow quite markedly for those that know about Venmo, which is a wallet that is like a, uh, has an intrabank uh, uh, framework. Payment uh, transactions and volume is growing quite uh, rapidly, so that all bodes well for uh, digital payments. And that's it for now. Uh, uh, for me, I hope that you enjoyed this uh, little tidbit on payments and fast payments and real-time payment systems. Uh, until uh, the next episode, have a great time. Bye.